Hi, I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and I want to give an update for what's coming up this January. Tracking the energy, getting a sense of what are we up against in January? All right. So as I start tuning in to the frequency of what's coming in January, first thing I'm seeing is a little bit of a lightness happening. Uh, when I say lightness, that means the density of the energy is lighter. When I see a darker energy, it, be, it gets denser. What that means is dense energy means more intensity. Lighter energy means lighter, you know, lighter energy, lighter frequency. Okay. So as I tune in, it, it gets a little foggy, like a, almost like fog, like for real fog. I see fog. And what that's doing for, for people, because for me, it's really about how we're affected. It's about our lives. It's about our well-being. It's about our emotions, about how we feel. So as I tune in the first part of January, it looks like that first week of January, there's a little bit of lightheartedness. Mm, okay, people. It's looking like people are starting to have a little bit of a hopefulness, like maybe things will start to shift. Maybe things will start to get better, okay? Because there's a lot of intensity right now. You know, it's like the, the natural, natural things that are happening, nature doing its thing, the weather, um, all the finances, all the emotional things that are happening for everyone. Um, the, the frequency does have a little bit of a lifting up, okay? So like I was saying in the very beginning of January, about the first seven days, a lot more lightness. And even towards the end of that seven days, it actually gets even lighter. So I see energy, I see people feeling a little bit more happier, a little bit more, um, more hopeful, more joyful, that kind of energy frequency. And then we start moving into that second week of January. There's still some lightness. And then about midweek of that second week of January, I start to see a different frequency presenting. And then I do see more of a, almost like a plunging uh, down into a, um, a, a little bit denser. It's not black. It's nothing like it was that was happening in December, that mid-December. But in January, I'm still seeing more of lighter energy frequencies. Now, I've just been checking in weather situations and, and there will be um, um, more weather happening more in that first part of January that, you know, mid, mid end of that to the mid two weeks in between and <clears throat> more weather, meaning, you know, more rain, some places, snow, that kind of stuff. And again, coming back down to that second midweek of January, there's something going on. What is it? What is it? There's like a, like a denser energy, like, some, like almost like a pressure pushing down on humanity. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I just want to remind people that we are in the transition from the new paradigm or from the old paradigm into the new paradigm. What we are all experiencing globally is all part of that. So, we have to have that pressure. We have to have things pushing on us to bring up what is not love. So all of our wounding, whatever those issues are, have to come to the surface. And this is what it looks like. Okay. So there's going to be more crises happening, more intensity happening, more, ooh, more homeless things happening. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of disruptions happening in January. Um, <clears throat> Mid-January, it gets really dense and dark, uh, more fear, more anxiety, more um, worry and stress. And then as we start coming more towards the end of January, things start to lighten up again. So just so you understand, the energy frequencies that I'm looking at are affecting your emotions. Okay, They're affecting the, the joy and happiness. It's affecting... Uh, and bringing to the surface what is not joy and happiness. So I'm just going to uh, remind people that this is a soul's journey. This is about you as a soul evolving. And the whole purpose of you being here is to open your heart, to open the heart, share the gift of you. Heart open, feeling love, shining your own light, being the authentic you. So if you're not able to do that, that means there's unconscious wounding that's getting activated that has to come to the surface. So I'm just going to encourage everyone that no matter what's happening in your life, keep your heart open, keep loving all the people you love, your family, your friends, your beloveds, keep loving. When you hit these walls, when you go into a deep emotions, remember, take the ride, go through it, 
Open your heart to your own self. Let the emotions move. Let them clear out of your body. Let them be lifted. And you will actually be happier, more joyful, even in the midst of some of the darkest stuff, the dark, darkest times that we have coming up. Okay. So again, January is going to be a little bit of a roller coaster. So the clearer you are, the, the more free you are from your own unconscious wounding, misperceptions of reality, the easier the journey will be. Those of you who have been resisting and not allowing the energy to, to present, you're going to get a little bit more pressure. Okay. So more things are going to get a little more intense. So it's like, kind of like, uh, you know, it's like you're being encouraged. You're being asked at a soul level to face what's inside, to go through whatever's inside. That's what this whole journey is all about. Okay. So face it, let it move through you, let it be lifted and know your own self in your own wounding. What's there? What do you need to unravel? What do you need to clear? Okay. All right. So now I want to do a little bit of an activation <clears throat> to help with moving your emotional energy. So what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to just have a yes. Okay. Just right now in this moment, have a yes to your own self, have a yes to your own liberation, feeling that yes, I'm willing to go through, I'm willing to face whatever needs to be unraveled. I am willing, I say yes. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate more of that darker frequencies in those lower sh chakras, first, second chakras, even in the heart, to let these energies be lifted and move out more easily, more peacefully, rather than getting whacked. You don't need to take the hard road. You don't need to get whacked. All right. Getting whacked is intense. All right, here we go. So just coming in. Okay, you're using the light, losing light activation. That first chakra, light, 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 light. First chakra, second chakra. Yep, spinning, spinning, spinning. And then also the heart chakra, activating the frequencies. When I'm going right into the blackness, that means the unconscious wounding, misperceptions of reality, all those beliefs, frequencies that are simply not the truth, right into all these those three chakras, first, second, and fourth. Coming right, yeah, blasting, awakening, awaken. Yeah, it is time. It's time. Release, release, open, 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 open. Blasting, blasting, blasting. Suck. Blasting, blasting. Suck. Blasting, blasting. Suck. There we go. There we go. Now these all these chakras are activated, and now all you got to do is kind of lean back, let the energy rise up, go through the emotion, and set it free. All right. So we'll be back again end of January for the prediction of. February. Thank you so much for being here.